what's going on people welcome back to my channel so we are doing today a holster for a m p four and a quarter full size um if you see i already went ahead and taped it but it's really nothing special it's five layers of tape and then i got my uh trusty where is it these are called ladder bars if you don't have them i recommend getting them these things are the balls for doing um anything with rails on them so Back to this. So I got my five layers of blue tape on each side. Uh, this is a on target, which is also known as uh, multi molds. Tony Catter makes these. I absolutely love them. Uh, you'll see me. This is pretty much all I use in all my videos. Um, so we got this. Go uh, already got it prepped. So um, let's go from there. So we're doing a OWB paddle. Here's the paddle. It's a G code paddle and. Uh, what a lot of people really don't realize is it's it's a simple taco design and you just overcomplicate it if you you know you just you overthink it so what we're going to do is i'm going to do an iwb with a little bit of a pizzazz on it so if you notice you got a control right here so what we're going to do is on pretty much all my owbs as long as it's non-light bearing i have a little channel for the you know the muzzle to redirect into it so that right there will cover this so it'll be perfectly fine and uh let's see here so we'll block that there throw down some tape you hear my dogs wrestling in the background all right and then on this side you can do it a couple ways um the paddle so if you think about it, your holster is going to be pretty much from sight channel to trigger guard. You know, some people go over. I personally don't like that. I don't like the way it looks when the holster comes to like here and then they cut all right there. I just, I don't like the way that looks. So um, what we're going to be doing is the paddle and literally all you're going to do is the blocking for a foamy if it was a left hand IWB. So this is legit going to go right there. And so that's that's literally all we're gonna do. But you have the controls on this side. So there's two ways you can do this. You can put your blocking in and then take this and put it over it, but that bumps out the holster, you know, that much more. So I am not gonna do that. So what I am gonna do though is take this out. And this is where you want like other blocking and stuff like that. So you know, say I've made this right here and I got I got others, so I got a bunch of whole, you know, aluminum crap that I make. So what we're going to do is, let's see here, um, take the marker. So we know marker's dead. One's right there. It one's right there. So we know we need to at least cover all that. Let's see here. Now we're going to throw this here, but if you feel it, see how it's angled? We don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna plop a little something over here just to uh, to pick it back up. And generally, these work great for me. I might go something a little smaller than that. Yeah, here we go, right there. If you don't know what these are, I use them in my videos. Um, I'm gonna grab one right here for you. So I used to work for a company that made circuit boards and these are called circuit board cutoffs. So whenever I go in to uh, do maintenance on machines, I, I grab a handful. Uh, the throw outs, I'm not stealing anything. These are just literally in the garbage. So that's fiberglass and copper. So they're strong, but they're somewhat flexible. So they work great. Um, so I use them, I cut them to different shapes and sizes uh, to accommodate any, you know, any holster uh, or need that I, that I need. So anyways. Pop that up. See now that sits perfect. So pull that, put that back where it needs to go. A little puppy is just running back and forth in the garage right now, nonstop. Of course, my big one, my uh, I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback. She's in heat right now, so that's that's gotta be fun for the others. Anyway, get the tape off. Here we go, and that's gonna sit right there all right so we'll go ahead tape that down all right so we know this is here and this is literally be like that so we're gonna go ahead and just place the blocking down Okay. 
right? And then we need a little chunk that at least goes out to here. Um, that doesn't make it. This one is just too long. And it interrupts this, so you won't get a good grab on your belt. So I just need to grab a smaller one, which actually another IWB might work. Doesn't matter how long it is. Yeah, that works, but it's too wide for me. I don't, even though you're not gonna see it, I'll know it's there. All right, see how that fits. Oh, look at that, perfect. We'll go ahead and lock that down there. And then just for good measure, I do one going across everything. out of there, there we go. all right so this is all blocked now we need to do the retention plate these are my retention plates I get a two foot by two foot square or a two foot by four foot square from uh, Home Depot they range from like seven to eleven bucks depending on size this is quarter inch MDF I like it it handles pressure and um, tape doesn't like peel it away like the other crap does so we'll go ahead and attach that If you notice, I always go around the trigger guard. Okay. And then I always go around the muzzle. You can see this. There we go. And then what I'll do, it's not needed, but I feel like it helps just a little bit more just to keep it centered, is right around the trigger guard. All right, so this right here is 100% ready to press. And uh, again, this is a right-handed OWB, which we're forming it as a left-handed IWB. And the paddle's gonna go right there. So uh, I'm gonna turn the oven on, and we're gonna be doing we just had it here. It is black carbon fiber. And uh, should look pretty good. So I'll throw it in the oven. And uh, we'll turn it back on once it comes out. Also, if you haven't seen in my other videos, I use these gloves. They're a little beat up now because I use them pretty good. But these are uh, grilling gloves. They're made by, oh God, Home Max. I think that's what it says. It's kind of hard to read the gel. But anyways, these gloves are on Amazon. You could get them for, uh, I think these are like 17 bucks or something like that. They're under 20 and they handle up to like 1,867 degrees or some random number. But I could, I'll tell you with 400 degree Kydex, you don't feel a thing. So these things are absolutely awesome. You can use them to move the uh, fire in your log, you know, in your wood stove. But, or the logs in your wood stove, rather. But these things are absolutely phenomenal. They're grilling gloves. You can find them right on Amazon. Just search grilling gloves or high heat temp gloves or whatever. And uh, these things are phenomenal. So this is what I handle the uh, Kydex in when, uh, when I take it out of the oven. Can't even tell that you're holding anything. Absolutely fantastic. All right, I forgot to mention this tool in uh, my last tooling video. Obviously, you want to get an IR temperature reader. This thing is the balls. So, you know, the gun itself right now is 50 degrees. It's kind of cold in my shop right now. But anyways, definitely need one of these for uh, if you're, you know, working in an oven and working anything with Kydex. So highly recommended. You get to regulate and see what you're doing and you got to fix anything. If you need up the temperatures or down the temperatures, definitely ideal for what you need so you don't burn your stuff. But check the ducks now. We're at 358, so that's perfect. So I'm going to press it. Woohoo, fresh out of the press. Definition looks great. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to do this guy. Like I said before, though, it's a simple IWB with OWB accessories. So don't work yourself up over it. Head and 
drill. So there's those holes. And like I said, no foamy in this guy. So I personally just do it the wider set of holes right in the center. take my flat edge razor and I just clean up the burrs left over from sanding and the Dremel and that process. 
Don't need to cut into it, just just slightly scrape them off. Inside, outside. You gotta be a little bit more careful with the outside one because you can dig into your decks. Let's see here. Clean the inside of the hole so the hardware sits flush. There we go. And again, these are drywall sanding sponges. You can get them at Home Depot. They come in purple or uh, like that light green color or whatever. So I'm just going to do a quick buff. And I believe these are 120 grit. And I go sideways inside like so. So what I'll do is I'll actually just do that so you can see how clean that is. And then this is on the Dremel. So we're going to do a little bit of a buff, as I said. And do your best to get into all the nooks and crannies. And I do a once over on the outside, so I know there's no burrs. Okay, right. then quick blowout. Get all the gunk out of the inside. And then what I'll do is I'll spray and just keep spraying like that so it gets the outside, inside, and the outside. You don't need a lot. Then a microfiber, and that gets your pencil fibers off, your, your, your pencil uh, drawings. Plus, it gives it a nice sheen. You don't have to use. Rem oil, you can use other stuff too. I like to use rem oil. I don't make it so it's dripping, I just make it so it looks decent. A little bit of mark left right there. And it's gone. Alright. A little one up there. Okay. And Throw in this hardware, Let it bing, which is quarter inch posts, and then these are uh, 0.4375 inch screws. Screw guns over there, so I gotta go old school the poor way. I'm just kidding, I have the drill, so I might as well use it. But it's 24 feet away, and I'm not walking. All right. Fit real quick. Well, that fits good. Yeah, we go a little tighter though. Yep. All right. Next, we got the paddle, which that hardware is over here. So if you ever buy a paddle, a G-code paddle, it actually comes with the hardware, so you don't have to worry about it. So that's good. Throw that on the inside. This on the inside. All right now, you could directly bolt it to it, like so, or you do what I do. You add a rubber bushing. What the rubber bushing allows is this to move without breaking the kydex. So it gives you a buffer and it gives you that suspension. So, all right, and I'm not going to Loctite these only because it has adjustable um, cant on it. But those screws aren't long enough for my liking with those bushings in there. So I'll go with longer screws. And these are 3 8 inch. Set it straight. Make sure your screws aren't protruding into it. Otherwise, you're going to scratch the firearm. And there you have a finished holster with a G-code paddle. 